Korean classical musicians have been making their mark on the international music scene for quite some time now, but lately, two of those young musicians have been causing a stir in a good way here in Seoul. Im Yuni joins us today with that story. Good afternoon, Yuni. Good afternoon. So, uh, many of these musicians are going abroad to study music as, at a very young age, and the result is a robust supply of accomplished Korean classical musicians, uh, young, in te- young in their career with immense talent to offer. Now, today, I look, have a look at two of those musicians who are making a wave in the industry. Take a look at this next report. The sweet, sorrowful sounds of the violin, blended with the percussive accents of the classical guitar. The reputable guitar duo Yi Sung-woo and Oliver Fartash Naini have joined forces with one of Korea's leading young violinists, Shin ji They've collaborated on the recently released album Kanto Antigo, a collection of 16 Latin American folk pieces. It's a chance for me to reflect through a variety of pieces. In particular, with this project, I heard echoes of the Korean cultural piece Arirang, and I grew fond of it. The trio is set to play in Seoul this Valentine's Day. Another young classical musician taking the spotlight is pianist Im Hyun Jung. In 2011, she was the youngest pianist to undertake the complete cycle of Beethoven's piano sonatas, an accomplishment that put her front and center on the global classical music stage. The one-night-only performance includes works by Beethoven, Bach, and Rachmaninoff. Wow, it's just amazing how she can move her hands like that fingers really fast, right? So both of them, they both went out to study abroad. You did mention that in the opening, right? Right, so both these musicians did. Um, In particular, with the pianist you just saw, Im Hyun-jung, she has an interesting story. Uh, She went to France at the age of 12, and she said she wanted to keep her parents updated on her progress, so she'd upload uh, videos of her work onto YouTube. And from there, she developed a following, which I feel like is not an unfamiliar story these days. I feel like that's happening quite often with YouTube. Uh, But from there, she really gained popularity and success and she signed with a record label and upon releasing her recordings she shot to the top of charts and you know she's only been performing in Korea since 2013 so this is a very mm-hmm. uh, precious performance to go check out. Mm-hmm. And going back to Shin Ji, uh, uh, mm-hmm. isn't it quite uncommon for to, to see a collaboration between a violin and a guitar? Right, you're absolutely right. So this is another very rare, very special performance um, that's taking place here in Seoul. So they've harmonized the beauty of these two instruments, which you don't see put together very often in a performance, uh, but they've also added this Latin American flair, which people Mm. are saying are very uh, good. So the artist herself, she said said that she uh, is very happy with the result, and she uh, she feels like the instruments really do complement each other, and um, she feels like this is a very warm, inviting music that you can check out at the performance. Mm -hmm. And you say that she has another performance coming right up. Right, on Valentine's Day, Mm. so maybe a special date. Okay, all right. Thank you very much, Jeannie, for today's report. Always a pleasure.